I think it's very important for all of us uh, that if we're going to trend off in a better direction than what we're being steered down, uh, the best thing that we can do at this time is learn the law. Because if more people know the law, the more law lawful society is. And the harder it is for uh, corrupt individuals to get in there and steer it off into a destructive direction. And I think that's probably one of the most important things. We've got a lot of people going around saying, you know, do we what political party should we put our faith in? You know, all of the stuff that's happened, um, let's find one political party or one individual to blame. I say this, let's first blame ourselves. Um, and here's an example of it. We've been outside the refinery for 200 days, and um, over 200 days we have not been able to stop them from destroying our strategic asset. Now, that's on me. That is on me. And, uh, but that isn't going to stop us from our new goal, which is encouraging New Zealanders to combat the coming massive inflation and the lack of fuel supply. I mean, that's on the way. That's coming. Uh, we're already having stations that are running out of 91. Uh, there's likely a coming diesel shortage, and we need to get on to solutions now. We've spent years drowning ourselves in the issues, and we're only just getting on to the solutions now. And so the digging at Marsden have decided that what we're going to do is we're going to get people into that solutions-based mindset. We want to talk to people who know how to build little micro-refineries. People have reached out to me and said that they know someone that's building a refinery on their boat. You know, let's get these little micro-solutions sorted out now while we advocate for the reinstatement of the, re of the refinery because of the endless amount of problems that have started popping up all over the place over the last few years since we removed our ability to produce bitumen, uh, produce captured CO2, produce fertiliser, and produce a variety of different fuels. You know, if you're not making things, you can't have things. Right? And if you are solely dependent on importing things from other countries, how do you know that they're going to be at the quality that Kiwis make things? And how do you know that uh, they're going to be at an affordable price? Because so far, not so good. And so that's where we're wanting to trend off in this direction. Um, there's a lot of things I want to talk about in terms of spearhead. Um, I really wanted it to stay. Uh, but the reality is, is we can't go and put the needed amount of energy into promoting the solution uh, if we were to keep that with the amount of support that we had. Uh, we didn't have enough support and we're still dedicated to getting more because this is an important issue that needs solving. And so we've decided that if you guys won't come to us, we're going to come to you. And so that's what we're going to focus on. Um, Many of you are aware of all the issues that we've been facing and have been learning about subversion, but we don't want, really want to talk about that. Um, we've been stuck in a psychological war since Wellington and, 200, and for 200 days after that. We've learned a lot. And what we've learned is that if we drown ourselves in the issues, we're never ever going to find a solution because we'd be drowning in the, in the issues. You can't see the solution when you like.